Now, do you suffer from back pain? If you do, then you're certainly not alone. Four out of five of us do so at some point in our lives, but there is some good news. Yes, that's right. Research shows that we're becoming more aware of how to cope with back pain and stop it taking over our lives. Our health correspondent, Richard Nosworthy, has been speaking to one famous lady who's determined not to let pain hold her back. It hurts people, it hurts the economy. Back pain keeps people off work and costs Welsh businesses millions. But it seems we're now learning how to cope. After decades in showbiz, Ruth Maddock is still busy on the stage and screen, thanks in part to her daily exercises. Nearly 40 years ago, I had a big accident on stage. Um, I cracked two vertebrae in my back and slapped a couple of ribs. My own experience of having back trouble uh, all these years and wanting to continue with my career, I had to address it. I go through the pain barriers um, because I know that it will stop. You know, it's not going to kill me. Um, so it will stop as long as I keep on doing my exercises every day. And tomorrow is another day and it'll get better. take back pain lying down. You may not always feel like it, but staying active when you have back pain could lead to a quick... Ruth is supporting the Welsh Backs campaign. Their TV ads have urged people not to stop their normal routine. And that message seems to be getting through. More people in Wales are now aware of the need to keep active to manage back pain. Of course, exercise isn't the only remedy. Clinics like this one at the University of Glamorgan offer treatment and advice. It's quite different to the old attitude that back pain needed rest. There's just more evidence now available um, regarding how and what treatments and what interventions are more effective. For instance, we know exercise is an extremely important part of, of back pain management. Advice, giving people correct advice, uh, educating patients, reassuring patients to help to reduce their anxiety and uh, their worries about their condition. Because people think when they get back pain, it's a serious condition, when less than, let's say, 1% of, of, of back pain is serious pathology. Okay. If you have a back problem, address it. Don't just sit and take painkillers. Go and do something about it because you invariably, invariably, I'm saying, you can actually help that condition. So, Ruth, we've seen your exercises there. You make it look so easy. Is it really? Not really, but I'll show you how to do them if you like. OK. Here we go. Look, just place your feet slightly apart for okay, balance. Fine. Right. Breathe in, raise your arms, flex your fingers, take It's them simple out and it's fun, slowly, and it could be the key to a happier slowly, and more active slowly, life. Slowly, Richard Nosworthy, with the Wales Tonight. Down well, we're joined now by the Chief Medical Officer, Dr Tony uh, Jewell. Thank you for joining us. This is a huge problem for Welsh people and for the Welsh economy that's having to pay for people off with, with backs. Um, how can it be dealt with more effectively? Well, we're delighted that Ruth Maddox supporting the uh, Welsh Backs campaign, which is, I think, the slogan, don't take back pain lying mm, down, is, uh, is yeah. uh, exactly what we mean, which is to uh, stay active, and that means everyday activity. Uh, try not to, uh, you know, take bed rest. Uh, so stay active, keep going to work if possible, and there is a role for employers to uh, assist people to go back to work, because uh, one of the worst things is when people get back pain, stay off work and then they get trapped in this uh, so it's about taking control over it keep active uh, you mentioned the slogan there you know how, how effective is it at the moment is it raising awareness it, not amongst just people with back pain but those around them as well yes we've done some surveys and the uh, public awareness has increased by i think 20 percent so about 70 percent of the population know that the first response isn't to take bed rest but the first response is if if possible to keep active and uh, we're also influencing professionals because uh, part of the campaign is uh, to try and encourage people to stay at work if possible. The cost to the economy, as you say, uh, something like £90 million in capacity benefits in Wales, something like £150 million NHS costs mm -hmm. and £250 million cost to Welsh industry. So it's a big issue. Uh, in your introduction you said uh, I think it's four out of five of us will get it. So. It's a big problem. And hopefully, as you said, Ruth, encouraging people there is absolutely great. And that's hopefully exercises which can suit everyone. Thank you very much for Thank joining you. us. Thank you.